Hey guys, it's finally here. After over a year and a half of the COVID-19 pandemic preventing fans from going to ballparks all across the country, it is 2021 and it is opening day. I'm currently at home. We will currently will be departing here in a little bit to go down to the ballpark. We live about two hours away. I'll take some shots down. But we have tickets for opening day and I'm so excited to be there. I always keep score and I want to show you guys what it's like. Cincinnati Reds opening day, 2021. really nice to be back here in Cincinnati here for opening day the only negative is it is really cold out and it is actually snowing I've been to almost 200 games in my life and this is only the second game I've been to where it has snowed the other game was I think 2013 or 2014 it was against Tampa Bay Alex Cobb pitched for the Rays but yeah it is snowing the high today is supposed to be 40 degrees by first pitch I think it's supposed to drop down to about 38 and then through most of the game, it's supposed to be in the high 30s. So we're bundled up, got my mask. Um, yeah, it's just really, really cold day. Lots of wind as well, which is not gonna make it any better. And our seats are up high, upper deck, which is where I usually sit, which is honestly one of the windiest part of the, to the ballpark. We sit right by the gap, which is where most of the wind pushes the the balls out of the park goes through is the gap so but you know what still rather be in the ballpark when it's freezing than be at home watching it Now, Reds fans, back at Great American Hallmark and fans watching throughout Reds country, it is now time to introduce your 2021 Cincinnati Reds. First, let's welcome the Reds support staff and assistant coaches as they take the line along the first base side of the field. Number 
37, Tyler Stevenson. Number 30, Tyler Valley. Number 23, Jeff Hoffman. Number 22, Wayne Miley. Number 17, Kyle Farmer. Number 12, Tyler Naquin. Oh, he, he made the ball food. And zero, Alex Flambino. Both teams have a zero. <laughs> And now, introducing the starting lineup for your Cincinnati Reds. First, please welcome the manager of the Reds in his third season, number 25, David Bell. <laughs> Leading off and playing left field, number 33, Jesse Winker. <laughs> Batting second in right field, number two, Nick Castellanos. Batting third at first base, number 19, Joey Votto. <laughs> Batting fourth at shortstop, number seven, Aoyo Suarez. <laughs> Batting fifth, playing third base, number nine, Mike Moustakis. <laughs> Batting sixth in center field, number 15, Nick Senzel. <laughs> Batting seventh in playing second base, number six, Jonathan India. Look at that hair. Batting eighth and catching in the bullpen, number 16, Tucker Barnhart. <laughs> Batting ninth, then pitching for the Reds. Warming up in the bullpen, number 58, Luis. So as I said, it was really, really cold at the game. High temp was about 38, maybe 39. Both starting pitchers, both for the Cardinals, being Jack Flaherty, and for the Reds, and Luis Castillo, were having trouble, you know, gripping the ball and throwing consistently. Also, it was really hard for some of the fielders, especially some of the Reds fielders, to make plays on the ball because of how cold it was. So... The Cardinals stormed out to a 6-0 lead in the first inning off of, well, off of a couple hits, I believe a walk, let me double check, no, a hit by pitch to Tyler O'Neill, a error by a. Eugenio Suarez. We're going to have to see if him moving the shortstop is going to be good in the long run or if it's just a stopgap for Jose Garcia next year and move everyone around. Um, and then... Dylan Carlson hit a three-run home run in the first inning, which propelled the Cardinals to a six-nothing lead early. It didn't. It was not a good first inning of the season for the Reds. Luis could not locate. More just he was throwing a lot of balls, mostly because it was so cold out. And you really can't blame Luis when it's that cold out. Talk about cold. It's still cold this morning. Um, obviously I'm in my room, but it's so cold I have my sweatshirt on, my house is 100 years old, so the insulation of it is not good. Um, but yeah, it's still cold today. It's supposed to be warmer tomorrow, it's be closer to 60, maybe mid-60s for tomorrow's game, which I will be at. Of course, that's tomorrow for me, by the time you see this, actually it still might be tomorrow, because I plan on trying to get this up today. The Reds did answer back in the first, they answered back, Jesse hit a double, first hit of the season for the Reds and he ended up coming around and scoring I believe on a wild pitch I think it was in Castellanos's or Joey Votto's at bat but in the first two innings on defense Eugenio Suarez made two big errors to cost the Reds probably at least two th or three maybe even more runs uh, also, throughout the game, Joey Votto dropped a couple of well, balls he very easily could have caught. And that also really, really hurt us. After we got to the bullpen for the Reds, the bullpen pitched well. Castillo just had trouble. Castillo, in three and a third innings, gave up eight hits, which is very un -Luis like Uh... Didn't have a single strikeout, which is very odd for Luis. 
We gave up 10 runs, nine of them earned. Again, we had two errors, probably had some more that should have been errors. Now, I guess I want to talk about, I'll talk about some bright spots for the Reds. Looking at this game. One, Eugenio Suarez hit a home run. Very good on opening day. Also, Nick Castellanos absolutely hit a missile to left field that was, it was just gone the second it was off the bat, which is really good. And I also want to talk about the debut of Jonathan India. Went two for four with a double and a single, and neither of his hits were soft. They were both solid contact. He showed he could make adjustments while he was at the plate, and he could easily get under the breaking ball, which I know a lot of rookies tend to struggle with the major league breaking ball. But he could get under it and just, you know, adjust to it and just get it out, you know, for a solid hit. In fact, his first hit, that double, that was basically a screaming line drive down a left field line, was a curve ball or a slider. It was a breaking ball that he adjusted mid-swing and just smacked it out there. Um, overall, the Reds' offense was great. Uh, we Again, defense and pitching put us behind early, but the offense showed that they can easily rally back, that they can easily chip away. They did not give up, which is fantastic to see, especially last year when we had a team average of about 212, which was abysmal. Uh, the only thing I did see offensively, well, I'll go through, I'm going to talk about two players offensively here that gave me cause for concern. One, Joey Votto. He on average from 2009 through, I think, 2019, on average, I think, had four infield pop-ups in a season. Today, he hit two infield pop-ups in one game. Well, by today, yesterday. Which is the first time he's done that since 2008. Eight, which was his rookie season and that gives me a lot of cause for concern especially if he's going to continue hitting in the three slot for the Reds also I want to talk about Tyler Stevenson here so we had a major rally going in the sixth inning I believe we had the bases yeah we had the bases loaded with one out and yeah Nick Castellanos hit what should have been a, just a a sack fly to be the second out of the inning to center field. India was on third. India was going to score. India, India, by far, is one of the fastest runners I think we have on the team. The only person that might be faster is Nick Senzel, which I got to talk about Senzel as well. Um, so while this was happening, which is a ball that was very easily going to be caught, any anyone who's played baseball for any period of time, knows they have to read the ball off the bat. Tyler Stevenson failed to do this. By the time the ball was caught in like medium left center, Tyler Stevenson, who was the runner on second base, was over by third base and was easily picked off to end the inning, ending the Reds' rally and also causing, because it was a force play at second, the run that was Jonathan India not to count, which that really hurt us. Okay, now talk about Nick Senzel. So, Senzel only, you know, you got to hit once once during the game. Yeah. Because in, I believe it was the fourth inning. Yes, the fourth inning when Nolan Arenado, which Arenado, for his Cardinals debut today, went one for four. I mean, it wasn't bad. One for four with a run scored, struck out twice. But... And Arnado's at bat in the fourth inning. He hit a screaming line drive to left field, left center field, and Sinzel made a diving catch. It was a great catch. Uh, he came up kind of lame. It looks like he may have landed on his left arm, may have done something to his shoulder. Also, when he did come up lame, it looked like he was favoring his leg. So Sinzel's probably going to be out for at least a couple days. Hopefully it's not something too serious because I want to see Sinzi in the lineup. He's one of my favorite players. But that is something that's very sad that, you know, he's so young, has so much potential, but he just can't stay healthy. And I'm hoping he can really start to stay healthy. So the final score yesterday was the Cardinals, 11, my Cincinnati Reds, 6. Overall, 
I would I would honestly give the Reds like a like if I had to put it on a gauge from zero to ten, I would give the Reds about a six. They didn't play horribly. Their defense early in the game just put them behind. And after Luis Castillo got out, like after they took him out, which again, his hands are cold. He he's one of the best pitchers in the game. He's especially one of the best younger pitchers in the game. Like Castillo is a phenomenal pitcher. It was just really cold. Again, Flaherty was struggling too, and Flaherty is by no means a slouch out there either. He is a phenomenal pitcher as well. Yeah, six out of ten. The offense kept up. Actually, I believe we out hit the Cardinals or maybe had the same number of hits as the Cardinals. We left more runners on base than St. Louis. So our offense so far, so good. Because the pitching and defense let us down. I gotta say, I've really enjoyed vlogging the ballpark experience So for opening day. I plan on vlogging every game I go to. I'm going to, I think, about 19, maybe 20 games this year. I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, it will be the show 21 comes out in about two weeks. I will be, I put on live streaming that, mostly on Twitch, but I will be importing the videos over to here. I will mostly be doing Road to the Show, and I think I'm also doing an online franchise not franchise, online league with some of my friends. But I plan on streaming those and I will be importing them straight here. I'll probably might chop them up a little bit. We will see. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great one. Stay positive. And remember, hit out of the park slugger.